it's uh, from 1994 and it was uh, one of the very first uh, drafts of uh, a new strategic plan. And, and do you know what the headline was? Something to do with 2010, I believe, right? No, it was Erie towards 2050. 2050. <laughs> and uh, uh, yes, it was it was rejected uh, in in the in the committee. It was rejected by the board because the horizon horizon was by far too too long. But you know. Uh, Nobody knows uh, if Erie would exist in 2050 anymore. And 1994, uh, I raised that question already. And uh, the last chapter of that strategic document has, had a headline which uh, the board Im Im immediately has thrown out of the window. Uh, and it reads, beyond Erie's lifetime. Now, I will, I will read you now the, just the five points which I thought at that time would be still valid for Erie in 2015. To house the base collection of the world's rice germplasm and to perform the many evaluation research, preservation and service functions that this responsibility entails. Second to collect, evaluate, select, and make accessible information on current rice research and development programs, rice and rice-related research results, and global rice research resources, human, financial, and physical. To retain a response capability that can catalyze the use of those resources, e.g. through specifically recruited internationally teams working on topics of supranational importance. And to organize and convene conferences, task forces, seminars and meetings to facilitate the exchange of information and to focus the application of knowledge on the resolution of emerging problems. And finally, to define research needs that can be taken care of by existing research centers worldwide, promote, promote funding, and harmonize the implementation. So, I hope that in 2050, uh, Erie has more function than this one, but these functions definitely will remain as a task of an international institution, which uh, is responsible for promoting rice research world worldwide. And then if, if it comes to research itself, yes, I, I think they are as we as we called them first before before we had these these new frontier projects, we called them men on the moon projects. If you if you see the world today uh, and the confrontation of problems ahead, there's a whole bunch of it we have not thought of. Uh, the globalization and the information systems uh, developing has changed the world so dramatically. Uh, not only uh, if it comes to the flow of capital uh, and the flow of Info information of knowledge, but also of manpower. Uh, think of uh, think of the seven million Filipinos who have to to work abroad, uh, because uh, unfortunately within the country there are there are not the possibility for them to, to to earn the money they need in order to keep up their families. One of the most tragic cases, uh, as I see them, for for this country. But we we definitely will have to deal with uh, with a research agenda in agriculture, which is very very different from the one today. The the, the ignorance uh, uh, on the political level, if it comes to agriculture worldwide, is obvious. 
but it's also obvious that uh, uh, only the, the the last oil oil price developments have proven that uh, we need other resources. Now the, the the two F's will compete with each other. Uh, can we feed the world if we want to fuel the cars as well with uh, biofuel uh, on the same land uh, with the same resources of uh, water, of fertilizer, of agrochemicals, of sea? The answer is definitely no. We cannot do it. We, w we are struggling already now with uh, hunger, uh, even hunger in the Philippines not to speak about hunger in India and in Africa. And after all these efforts, we were not capable to overcome it. Now we have wonderful organizations which are capable of formulating wonderful tasks. The latest example are the, are the Millennium Goals. Um, I, I confess that I have never believed in them. And uh, when they were formulated in the year 2000, it, it must have been clear for everybody that in 15 years uh, you cannot get rid of these un, un 800 million people uh, with empty bellies, uh, with the, the kind of research, with the kind of research, development with the kind of political decisions uh, taken. So it is, it is not wishful thinking, it is wishful talking.